Welcome to another session of viral respiratory tract infections. We, uh, today in this session, I'm going to be talking about rhinoviruses, the commonest cause of common cold in adults. So these rhinoviruses belong to the family picornaviruses. Now picornaviruses, which are non-enveloped RNA viruses, they are the smallest RNA viruses, 28 to 30 nanometers in size. I, having an icosahedral capsid, this capsid is made up of 60 capsomers. They have a positive single-stranded RNA genome, 7.2 to 8.4 kilo base pairs long. Now, this RNA genome encodes four structural or capsid proteins, which are generated from a single large precursor protein. These structural proteins are VP1 to VP4, except Parecovirus, these contain only three structural proteins. There are several genera of picornaviruses, but the important members which cause human disease primarily belong to three genera, enterovirus, hepatovirus, and perecovirus. The ones which are mentioned below, they are primarily causing disease in animals, cardiovirus, cobuvirus, and aftovirus. Fine. So remember, entero, hepato, and perecoviruses are the ones which are pathogenic to humans. So rhinoviruses are earlier having, they had their own genus, rhinovirus, but now they have been reclassified in the genus enterovirus. Now what is unique about rhinoviruses in comparison to other members of the same genus? That is, they are acid labile. That's a commonly asked question. So all rhinoviruses are unstable at a pH of 5 to 6 and they are completely inactivated at a pH 3 or below that. There are more than 100 serotypes of rhinoviruses and according to geno genome sequencing, there are three genotypes, A, B and C. A and B preferentially grow at 33 to 34 degrees Celsius rather than at 37 and members of genotype C can grow at both temperatures. So 33 to 34 is the temperature of the respiratory tract, upper respiratory tract. The cellular receptors for rhinoviruses, for majority of them, it is the intercellular adhesion molecule 1. So these rhinoviruses are called as the major receptor group. And for about 12 of them, the receptor is low density lipoprotein receptor. So these are called as the minor receptor group. One of the recently described rhinoviruses for them, for that one, the serotype, it, the receptor is decay accelerating factor. Rhinoviruses are ubiquitous viruses, multiple serotypes circulating simultaneously in a population and no serotype has been found to be more prevalent than the others. 50% of cases of common cold are due to rhinoviruses and they are the most commonly recovered agents from people suffering with upper respiratory tract infections. They are reported all year round and peaks are reported during fall and early fall and spring. Here are the most common causes of common cold in different age groups. In infants, it is rhino followed by adeno. In children, it is rhinoviruses followed by adeno again. And in adults, it is rhinoviruses and coronaviruses. So rhino would be commonest followed by coronaviruses. So transmission of rhinoviruses is via airborne droplets, hand-to-hand -hand contact followed by self-inoculation and fomites so they can survive on inanimate objects for one to three hours. Incubation period for rhinoviruses is short, one to two days. Patient presents with rhinorrhea, sore throat, sneezing, nasal congestion and mild cough and chilliness. Headache and malaise are either absent or mild and fever is generally not seen in adults but may be seen in one third of infected children. Spontaneous resolution occurs in 4 to 9 days and on examination, the nasal mucosa is swollen and red. Complications of rhinoviruses, in, these are of course less seen. More often, the patient resolves spontaneously. In infants and children, it can lead to otitis media, sinusitis, bronchitis, bronchopneumonia, as well as bronchiolitis. In adults, it can lead to exacerbations of asthma. In fact, 50% of cases of exacerbations of asthma are due to um, rhinoviruses. Plus, they can also cause exacerbations of COPD. 
it can also cause fatal pneumonias and immunodeficient, especially in bone marrow transplant recipients. Fine. So remember, not just them as causes of common cold. Of course, they're very important causes of exacerbations of asthma and cause fatal pneumonias in immunodeficient. Diagnosis is done by detecting and neutralizing antibody in serum and these uh, this antibody also appears in the secretions around one to three weeks. Recovery generally precedes the antibody appearance in the serum. Diagnosis is done by nasal washes or nasal secretions. Large number of virions are present in the first two to four days of illness and gradually they decrease and but they are still detectable after three weeks, up to three weeks. RT-PCR is the most sensitive method for diagnosis. Next method for diagnosis is tissue culture. It can grow on several diploid cell lines like WI38 or MRC5. And serology is impractical considering the number of serotypes there are. So preparing antigens against them would be very difficult. So most often either we use RT-PCR, less often by tissue culture. Treatment, no specific antiviral therapy is available. So symptomatic treatment is generally given, antihistaminics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and decongestants. And in case the patient develops secondary bacterial infections, we will give antibacterial agents. Prophylaxis of rhinoviruses can be done by giving intranasal application of inter interferon sprays and experimental uh, vaccines have been introduced for some serotypes but their usefulness is questionable considering the number of serotypes which are simultaneously circulating in a population. Question correct about rhinoviruses, we have to find out the one correct statement. Three antigenic type, that is wrong, there are more than 100 antigenic types, there are three genotypes A, B and C. Amantidine has no role in protection. They can very well survive on environmental surfaces for one to three hours, so can be transmitted via contaminated fomites. They are common causes of exacerbations of COPD, share physical, physical chemical properties with coronaviruses. Coronaviruses do not belong to coronaviruses. Obviously, they cannot share the properties. So the only statement that is correct about rhinoviruses in this is they are common causes of exacerbations of COPD. Which of the following properties of enteroviruses is not shared by rhinoviruses? Remember, I started out with that, that they are acid labile, completely inactivated at pH below 3 degree Celsius, uh, three, uh, at a pH of 3. So the answer to this is D. Stability at acid pH is present in entero, not in rhinoviruses. All of them have a single stranded RNA genome. All of them, the viral proteins are produced from a precursor protein. They are all resistant to lipid solvents because they are all non-enveloped and they have an icosahedral capsid. A person with asthma has an acute exacerbation. A virus is isolated. The likely isolate is which of the following? Rhinoviruses are responsible for 50% of exacerbations of asthma. So the answer would be C. False about rhinoviruses. They are the commonest causes of common cold, correct? Grow better at 33 rather than at 37, correct? They are members of coronaviruses and resemble polio, that is also correct. Immunity provided the vaccine is excellent as there is only one serotype. This is the wrong statement. There is no effective vaccine yet considering the number of serotypes. To summarize rhinoviruses, they are acid labile enteroviruses, more than 100 serotypes. Transmission is by aerosols or by hand-to-hand -hand or via fomites. They are responsible for 50% of common cold. Their incubation period is 1 to 2 days. Duration is 4 to 9 days. Complications are several otitis media, sinusitis, bronchitis, uh, bronchopneumonias, exacerbations of COPD. RT-PCR is the most sensitive method for diagnosis and there is no vaccine yet. Thank you.